I'm Scott Allen Miller, and today we're doing something pretty exciting. We're heading to the Witch Villages in Messiah, in the central region of Nicaragua, a little bit southeast of Managua. Out there in the Witch Villages, there is a really famous artisan village called San Juan de Oriente. We're heading out there, but we're not going out to do a big tour of town. We're not going out to see the artisans. So I know you're wondering, Scott, why are you heading to the artisan town if you're not going to go see the artisans? Well, think you're going to enjoy this. We're going to do a quick walk of town. We're going to show a little bit so you see what town looks like, but ultimately we're going for the, I don't know how to say this. I'm going to be as politically correct as possible. It's a bullwhip festival. It's not entirely about bullwhips. It's not exactly a standard bullwhip. I'll let you draw your own conclusions when you see it. Maybe in private comments, we'll explain what it actually is. Needless to say, it's not something I can say on the show. And people actually fight in the street using real whips that hurt a lot. This is wild stuff, and it's all part of a religious festival because so this is Nicaragua, and there is always some interesting Catholic festival going on, and this is one in San Juan de Oriente. At the church, there is a procession that comes out of the church. You're not going to believe any of this stuff. It's pretty wild. We couldn't stay for the whole procession because it was dark. We were far away, and we got a rainy, misty day. It's all super interesting. Seriously, that's the setup. Let's get to the bump and get into San Juan del Oriente. All right, here we are in San Juan de Oriente. The kids were getting some snacks and we had a lot of rain. It was a really cold day. Like it's surprising how cold it was up in the hill. Now this is on the side of the Laguna de Apoyo. And so it's much higher elevation. It's up in the volcanic region, southeast of Messiah. Uh, so you actually get some cool weather, but you get these amazing shops. So this, this is a famous city of artisans or village of artisans. And they're really especially famous for their kill fired pottery which is seen in museums all over the country but this is where the majority of the artisans are located and where the shops are uh, so this is a traditional oriente shop where you go in and that you can see amazing amazing handmade pottery people come from all over the world to buy pottery here but especially all over nicaragua uh, so this is there's there's many places you can buy this but this is the village that's famous for it and by far the majority of the pottery like this made in the country is coming from this specific village village and it is a tiny village but if you're in the area and you're interested in pottery at all of course hit the museums like the Ortiz Gurdian Museum in Leon where you can see some of that stuff but you can also see it in the shops actually here in the village now these guys are walking through they actually have some of the whips this is the first we're seeing them so the guys are wielding them there they're very excited they're heading off to the event but we went back and did uh, a look at some kiln firing this is a shop that's actually making the ceramics right now as we're uh, walking through so you can see all kinds of different things that they're working on and uh, it's neat that you can actually see the artisans at work while you're visiting the village in addition to going into different shops and checking uh, out what you can buy so there's a lot to actually keep yourself entertained if you're if you're interested in in pottery and ceramics at all this is a great stop and of course it's in the most beautiful region the witch villages and the the whole they're also known as the pueblos blancos uh, in the messiah region and its neighboring region in Granada is a fantastically beautiful part of the country with these little villages all just one right after another and we've taken you guys previously to the village just down the street that makes furniture. Uh, Katerina where we came from just before shooting this video uh, actually had a little bit more cold rainy weather and they are famous as the village of flowers. They have like nurseries everywhere that grows flowers and house plants. And so people travel from all over the country to buy uh, their plants and stuff there and then get their ceramics made in the region. Now, so there's a lot of just pots and stuff all over uh, that you get. So quite a few marching bands are coming through as part of the celebration. There's like these little bands having kind of a competition. I don't know how much there's like competition versus they're just there to show off and play in the bands, uh, but they would come in little groups and march in. So it was, it was pretty cool. We really were really shocked by the number of people that showed up uh, for everything. Just big crowds standing all around, lots of people selling uh, ice cream you can see here, or it's not real. there's one of the whips walking by. It's not really ice cream, it's the whipped vegetable oil, but they call it ice cream here because we can't get the dairy cream as we discussed on the live stream just the other night, but another group of people every so often. If you look, you can see them carrying the whips. Uh, they're the guy in white 
closest there in the jeans has one of the whips and candied apples as well. There's certain treats you see all over. There's another whip. A lot of women get in on this too. Not nearly as much as the men, but there are women who compete and I didn't really get good footage uh, of any women competing, but uh, we did see some while we were there. But it's, there's so many people, especially when the women uh, compete, like the crowd just sees, uh, surges in really, really quickly. Uh, the cross that you can see is right in front of the church, uh, a San Juan de Oriente. So where all of this is taking place pretty much directly in front of the Catholic Church. So if you're looking at a map, it's a very small village. You can you can find this spot very easily. Those people who are dancing there with the whips in their hands, that's directly in front of the church. And then there's like a park that you can see all those people standing, but they ha they've basically made standing bleachers across from the church specifically for this event. Uh, and there, this is what they do. They, they do this bouncing, jumping thing. They're all holding the whips. And this is how they celebrate having won or how they end up in a competition and there are some rules i don't know the rules but there's some rules there's some guys that they like kind of run into each other and then they just start fighting and then it's pretty vicious and there's people that'll watch and people that'll step in and pull them apart and there's some kind of safety measures i don't i don't really want to say they're safety measures but there's something right it's not a hundred percent unregulated and they have like these rules and people really do follow the customs and the rules quite well. Uh, you can see, you can actually see me holding a GoPro there because this is uh, Marcella that's actually filming a lot of this. And these guys, here we go, good one up close. They are going at it and it's just suddenly it erupts and you don't always know what's gonna happen and it, you'll have different people fighting all over and they wear these hats specifically to get beat up and it's really crazy. And then suddenly someone wins and then someone steps in to, to kind of pull them apart to make sure that the, the winner doesn't accidentally keep uh, beating the loser, not realizing that they've given up, uh, because you could, you could, you could just lose your mind because you're being hit in the face and hit. It's very painful. These are leather strips, like they look like long sticks of wood, but that is made of leather, so they are very whip-like, but not super long. Uh, so the ability to do like really permanent damage isn't too high, but you really can. Like they're they're causing bad welts through the clothing. They're extremely painful. It's much more painful than being hit with a stick for sure. Uh, but those are those are a good half inch at least uh, around and dried leather and just very, very much designed to be painful. <laughs> it is a bizarre custom. I have no idea. I've not been able to find anything about the actual name of the festival or what the tradition is of this, like where this came from, why this is done. But the witch villages have a lot of these wild traditions and I need to spend some time uh, going through them and, and really getting into the festivals and, and history of a lot of it. There's um, you know, a lot of these types of things. I don't know about this one specifically, but a lot of these predate the, the Colombian era. And so they may go back to some pretty old history and, and not necessarily have good records as to where it initiated. But this is an annual event and this goes on for days. This is the main day of this, but this is not the only day. This has been going on a bit. There's Marcella doing some filming. There you can see a lot of people are standing in front of the church, the same. And that guy has welts. He was showing Marcella just how bad he was he was whipped there, but taking great pride in it. He's saying he's the best fighter in town, and so he's showing off all the welts that he's taken across his back. You know, he doesn't need to be hospitalized, but that definitely hurt a lot. That was a very painful thing. Those are bruises and welts. That's, that's you know, at least three quarters of an inch wide slashes. Now, this is part of a religious festival. So there is a procession that started to rain and was getting dark. So we didn't get to stay and see it all next year. I'm going to try very hard to get more. But that is a uh, church procession that is working its way out of the church to come out and join the people outside. We see the similar thing in Leon for a lot of different processions. Like they process through the church and then they work their way out into the street and then they go wherever they're going to go. So this is all part of a Catholic religious festival that's going on, but I'm going to guess one that is tied to pre-Columbian roots, to pre-colonial roots. And that guy in the white was dressed up as a ox and dancing around in the street. And a lot of people are just dancing to the music and having a good time. Obviously, this is my crew dancing here. They are having a good time. Everyone had a lot of fun at this event. It's so wild and everyone is so hyped up and excited that it's... Uh, it's really, really cool. But we had a long drive back and we needed to get our footage and get out because it was raining and dark and just not a good day for staying at the event. So we headed back on the early side.
So with that, we're keeping it short today because we got some amazing footage. I'm going to put a lot more footage from today's event up on my other channel on Scott Allen Miller rather than the Scott Allen Miller vlog where you are watching this. Uh, so you can just see if you just want to see a whole bunch of footage of the event without the extra editing um, and much more time and a lot more people fighting. That'll all be over there if you just want to check it out. That's awesome. Subscribe to at Scott Allen Miller as well. That'd be much appreciated. Otherwise, thanks for uh, coming out and joining us in San Juan de Oriente. If you'd like to help support the channel, you can buy me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash Scott Allen Miller, and I'll see all of you tomorrow. And as always, we're going to pop a few videos up on the screen. If you would click on one of those, that would be awesome. And if uh, none of those pop up for you or you want to go to something else, scroll down and just click on something on YouTube right away, and it tells the algorithm how much you like this episode.